Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 55 of Yakuza 0. We have bought a good number of territories in the last point, and we're going to buy some more so we can encroach on to 60%. Yeah, I'm going to save two of them, so that way we'll be able to make up the difference. Because chances are I'm going to have to, you know, take the L on the challenge. But I have bought a good number of properties. And I had to use whatever money I got from the slow payouts, because the fact that people kept interfering with my business, to try to uh, gain as much uh, percentage as you possible. And now we're at 63%, so we have to check out and see what happened to Yamanoi. Well, if it's anything like the Leisure King got his ass whooped. And unfortunately, we're going to have to go after... The Media King. And the Media King is at Maharaja. And for those who remember Maharaja, Miracle Johnson. That is all. And what's worse, there's actually three sub-stories there too. Or should I say four? No, it's three. Yeah, there is three of them. No, wait, four. Because you dance by yourself. And then afterwards, you dance with three partners. All of which are freaking hard. And the worst part is, Majima has to dance with one of them in his story. To get, and I think it's the girl. And she ends up becoming one of his hostess if, she, if he actually wins the dance battle. God damn it. It's not that I don't like the dance battle. It's just that it's hard and I'm really terrible with the timing. As much as I practice, I'm still terrible with the timing. I'm not going to say lie to you. So on that note, we're going to have to go into Maharaja, and as soon as we do, the Mia King is here. Of course, the Media King is over here patronizing us. Little does he know, uh, the Media King is not anyone to mess with despite him looking like a joke. Because the moment Marina stops dancing, Marina's as good as dead. Even though Marina is shaking her money maker, she is shaking what her mama gave her. Ah oh, yes, she is definitely shaking what her mama gave her. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just the fact that I wish she wouldn't do it under duress. That, that's the part that I wish that would not happen. So on that note, we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to do this like we know we should. And we're probably going to end up having to take the L. But whether you win or lose, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if you win, that means you're closer to beating the Media King, if you lose, you're just going to have to gain that 10% back. And you can easily gain it back by buying those last two territories. And that's basically all there is to it. On top of the fact that you do get payout. And when you do get payout, you could just simply um, try to level up all of the territories you acquire from the media king so this is no big of loss although you do want to try to at least have some sort of practice because this dork really will give you a run for your money no matter what level you put this battle on he will kick your ass and that's because of the fact that the Media King, how should I put this, gets a head start before you do. So yeah, terrible dancing skills aside, and... I don't know how I missed that. But yeah, the Media King is actually making more steps than I am, and I... I just suck at this. Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say this. I just suck at it. So if you do, 
Remember, folks, I tried to get the dancing fever going, but for some reason my controller's up. But he got the dancing fever on his end, on top of the fact he got two dancing fevers. Oh, jeez. I am getting completely trounced here. And I'm just looking at these guys. And I'm looking at this guy making all these ridiculous steps. And he once again got a dancing fever. And that pretty much makes it to where I won't be able to get to my, um... Uh, to my uh, prompts in time. So yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. It's not like I want to, but, uh... Jeez. That could be soul crushing. Oh, and by the way, that also could be you in the stories. Now, if I would have won, that would have meant I've been at 76%, and all I had to do was just pretty much grab the remaining territories and level them up but no no i didn't it's gonna take a little bit longer but for the most part at least you'll gain some money and with that said we're now gonna have to uh buy the last couple of territories that we happen to Missed out on because we didn't have enough money. We're going to have back and get some more money anyway. So. We're going to go on ahead. Get those territories. Buy them and. Kiryu just left her out there on her own. Wow. That's messed up. Especially since she got finished dancing the night away. So. Uh, we're just going to buy this territory. Which is the Telekura. Uh, Rin Rin Bow, I guess, yeah. Tell her Coral Rin Rin Bow. And finally, the Disco City Boy. Dance Fever Club. The most expensive property. We bought them all. And Kiryu is flashing the cash. So, yeah. By the time of the next part, which is part 56, we're gonna finish Real Estate King. Sadly... I have to, you know, do something to pass the time until I get enough money in order for me to get 90% on Yakuza. And yes, I did say I was going to complete some of the challenges. Well, guess what? Here we are, and this is where it starts getting annoying. The first one is having to deal with Mika's father, Sataru. He thinks that Kiryu is a pedo. And to be fair, any father would have that uh, idea when their little girl is talking about how a 20-year-old man is her boyfriend. Well, uh, this dude right here has been stalking her throughout the entirety of the day. Which is why he looks like that. So, yeah. I mean, the girl doesn't really think of anything serious. She just hands the car over to Kiryu. And by the way, thank goodness she did. The boosted gear is definitely needed for this guy. <clears throat> And he also is a racer as well. So, uh, yeah. Poor Kiryu. He's in one mess and ends up in another. So, yeah, you're going to be challenged to a race. <laughs> okay. We'll have to literally clear our name of being called a freaking pervert. Well, how should I put this? 
It's only going to go downhill from there. So yes, time for us to customize this new car that we just got from Mika, and more importantly, add the boosted gear. Wait, actually, the boosted gears is already there. Yeah, that's the funny part. Any new car that you get, and you have to face off against uh, one of the sub-stories, sometimes that new car will have the required uh, part that you need in order for to beat your opponent that you're going up against. This is a setup that I'm going to be using against Sataro. And Boosted Gears is already there. Instead of a regular battery, from here on in, we're going to have to use a high-speed battery or high-capacity battery. Well, later on, we're just going to have to use high-capacity. And yeah, I got knocked off the track a couple of times against him, so that's why I cut. I had to set up, but I got knocked off of the track. Oh, and I lapped him too, finally. So, yep, Sataro is done. All I have to do is finish the damn race. And that's it. And even then, you can still lose by literally falling off of the course, and it will still count as the opponent losing despite the fact you lapped him. That's the worst part about this godforsaken minigame. You have to finish, and that's all there is to it. So, with that said... He's going to, uh... He's going to probably try to clear up that... What? What? <laughs> he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to clear up a situation and Sitara made it worse so yeah <clears throat> here's the thing <laughs> even though Mika and Sitaro air daughter and father they still have to respect the rules of pocket circuit racing by calling themselves coon so it's basically Sataro coon and um mika chan as i've explained in the last part it's weird i understand it because they do so out of respect because everyone respect everybody it's a kid's game but it's but it's gonna get harder from here Considering the fact that there's the three elites, and oh god have mercy, the three elites. So, from here, again, it's going to go downhill. And from here on in, you're going to basically need Godspeed gears for every single race. <clears throat> You have not gotten that yet, by all means, get it. Because I do believe Godspear Gears is in the pawn shop. If you don't have that, I don't know what to tell you. Well, at least he was actually... Um, at least he was actually kind to carry you after, well, accusing him of being a pervert. And the payout's ready, and I'll be right back. And after getting my uh, businesses up to level 75, well, 75% or so to say 85%, here I am waiting for the rest of my businesses to be at least, well, at least the Gambling King's businesses to be S-ranked. And that's why I'm here to take on another race challenge. God have mercy. And they look like they just got out of a fight, too. Except they didn't. They just raced one of the elites. And she just happened to have a faster car than we do. <clears throat> so here's the deal with the elites. 
from here on in, like I said, you're going to need the Godspeed gear. You're going to have to use very expensive tires that you've if you haven't beaten the Champions Cup, beat this or at least beat the Experts Cup before coming over here to all of these racers. And you're going to need a lot, and I mean a lot of money, like right. between uh, 300000 to $70 million, actually no, $150 million, yes, because that was like $10 million for 15 parts. You're going to need literally $150 million to get every single part in the game in order for you, well, here at least, in the Pocket Circuit Stadium. And then, not to mention, you need 50 more in order for to get Killer B, which had the uh, Godspeed gear, which I think the Killer B was in the... Uh, no, the Killer B was in the pawn shop, yes. And you had to also get the high capacity battery from the shady salesman. So with everything you get, you're probably spending a total of damn near a billion dollars just to beat this. Which is why I waited until now to do so. And I've already showed off the setup. Now it's time for me to beat her because yes, I failed at her too. Why am I skipping all of these failures? Real simple, because RNG is a pain in the butt. There's no way I can actually, uh, there's no way I could actually describe how aggravating this is. But I'm doing fine now, after, well, ten attempts on this one. I got literally knocked off of the course on the slope. And I flew right off, even if I had enough, uh, gauge in order to save myself, I still somehow flew off. Yeah, I don't want to try to show off the failures because, after all, they're literally going to be an hour. <laughs> I'm not joking. So we managed to beat one of the aces, and she's going to give us sunshine for her being defeated. What sunshine is is another decal that'll turn your car purple. And by the way, you get completion points for getting all of these parts, and these cars, and also all of the um, decals. Now that I stop and think about it, if you beat Pocket Circuit Fighter, you get one of the best cars in the game. Same thing if you beat the Experts. Uh, no, actually, you beat the Legendary Cup. You beat that, you get the best uh car and gear in the game and with that you'll probably uh win in a new game plus actually no you probably won't because you'll end up losing control and your car will fly off by the way this is the second elite after you beat the first one all you gotta do is show up at um earth angel and she will be there so you're going to end up having a drink with her, and she's going to tell you about herself, and not to mention she will challenge you. This is where you're going to get her. Well, if you beat her, you'll get her card, which is Cool Striker. And from there on, you'll end up having to get the uh, Heavy Suspension, which is by far the best suspension in the game. You're practically going to need the heavy suspension for the remainder of the races, which is all three of them. And, yeah, it'll be RNG whether you win or lose. So, anyway, just to be clear, you have to beat the ace first, then come over here in order to activate this sub-story. <laughs> and, by the way, I'll also show you the setup that I used to beat her after copious amounts of attempts. Because, let me assure you one thing. While, yeah, I did cut most of the uh, losses out, it is of the stupidest nature of how, I, how those losses happen. 
Like, for instance, I end up getting um, jetted so far that I actually landed on the wrong lane and ended up losing because of it. That's what happened here, by the way. <clears throat> and on top of the fact... Let's see, I'm going to change up everything here. This is the setup I'm going to use for uh, our professor over here. But the problem with this whole entire... Um, the whole entirety of these last three races, even though you're going to be pumping up your car to where it's almost um, 40, well you're still going to end up having to try to win. Thing is, the only thing you can do is press the boost. In this type of uh, race, you really don't want to, because if you do, you're going to launch yourself. I mean, yeah, sure, your gauge will come back when you have a commanding lead, but it'll slowly but surely come back depending on the, gill, or the gear. sorry. And that's why Godspeed gears are really good. Now, some of these races are 12 lap races, so you might want to pay attention to that too. However, there's one race in particular that's only 4 lap, and you'll have a hard time trying to win, and that's the final race with Pocket Circuit Fighter. And unfortunately, I never beat that race, so yeah. But I beat her, and Harumi, our Pocket Circuit Professor, it's going to give us Cool Striker. <clears throat> and Kiryu will tell her that she pretty much lost because she relied not on her skill, but her data. And, uh, after being beaten... Oh, God. She fall in love with Kiryu. Poor Kiryu. He just can't win. Alright. And then there's Kazuyoshi. Wait till we get to that guy. But I'm gonna tell you. It took me 20 attempts to actually beat him. I shit you not. Because even though I laughed the kid. I fell off the track. Even though I laughed the kid. One of the jumps I made landed me on the wrong, um, lane. I mean, I would make a montage, but I got so damn frustrated, I just wanted to move on. That's why I cut off most of the failures. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> good lord have mercy. The, this is, this is, okay, really? Those two are fighting over, you know what, I, I, I'm i done. I would say I'm done, but unfortunately we gotta get Kazuyoshi next. But, seriously, <laughs> that was the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. But then again, weird shit in Kamurocho. Alright. Kazuyoshi is going to be the last battle in the game. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to uh, make sure that one of the things we have is the heavy suspension on our car. But Cool Striker has that? The problem is you might need a better car that actually has better handling than Cool Striker, or at least better speed. <clears throat> yeah, you can use heavy suspension on any car, but Cool Striker has it by default. So that's just one less part you have to put on. Oh, excuse me. In fact, hold on a second, I think I got the hiccups. Ah, <sighs> can't believe I got the hiccups like that. But yes, this is where your frustration will make or break. If you happen to have all of the uh, parts you need in order to race this guy, 
Um, yeah, you're probably going to have an easy time with him. Not the case with me. No, 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 no. I ended up failing countless times, even with the right setup. Because again, RNG is a bitch. So then, let's go on ahead and show off my setup because this kid is tough. Doesn't matter if you use anybody, but when it comes down to Cool Striker, Cool Striker already comes in with heavy suspension. You're gonna have to change up the uh, gears, the motor, the battery, and pretty much everything else and add a balance bar on there. Even with that, I still got my ass whooped and ended up changing to a different car. Which is weird because I had the right setup. <clears throat> honest to God, honest to God, when it comes down to this particular uh, mini game, having to rely on RNG is a pain in the ass. So with that said, we've got everything that's needed. Let's go on ahead and win. Oh, by the way, that's the sunshine decal. And by the way, I also fell right off of the track as soon as I won. Yeah, the bullshit still is real, folks. And that's after 20 attempts, mind you. 20 goddamn attempts. Frustrating. Very, very frustrating. But, after defeating him, he gives you a decal. Uh, this isn't some modded motor. I use what was on the uh, shelves, and he does have a point about the modded motor part because, yeah, uh, one of the gears I got was in fact from the black market, so and a pawn shop too, so I can't really say much. <clears throat> so the kid finally, finally learned some humility after getting his ass severely handed to him in the final race. After 20 times of handing my ass severely to me. <sighs> God have mercy on my soul. I'm almost done with pocket circuit racing. I'm not going to do the last one. Because, no, I, I just can't. It's, it's annoying. Even if I do have the right parts, it's annoying. <clears throat> So, with that said, we got a brand new decal from this substory. And sadly, we have to beat Pocket Circuit Fighter in order for to actually get a uh, character, I mean, a completion point, sorry, for this. Yeah, Dark Purple is also a decal. You could put it on any of your cars. I don't like the way it looks, though. Just saying. I just don't. <clears throat> so, basically, Kazuyoshi's only acting like that because he wanted to make sure that he's the best because the actual best ended up beating him. The guy right behind you. Well, that would be Pocket Circuit Fighter. So, yeah. Let's go on ahead and uh, start the last side quest, but I'm not going to actually play it. Because, again, I only did it to try to... I only started to try to wait on the... Uh, to try to wait on all of the payouts so I could go on ahead and get to... 90% to finally finish off Real Estate Royale. Let's see. How shall I put this? <clears throat> when it came down to uh, having to try to get all the territories, they are, without a doubt, actually hard to invest in. 
even with all the advisors I have in, I mean, yeah, I kept switching out managers and switching out managers to get money, but the advisors I have, the Media King's territories are just absolutely, like, soul-crushing to try to rank up to S rank due to the fact that it, inve it takes a lot of money to invest in all of them. You need to basically have at least three trillion, oh no, three billion, three billion. I wouldn't say trillion yet, but I would say billion, definitely. At least three billion to try to uh, get some of the bigger uh, territories, you know, powered up. And the only reason why I'm mentioning this is because, well, he'll end up challenging you to a race. Which, by the way, you can race at any time. Hell, all of the rivals are a one-time only thing. Actually, no, you can race all of the rivals. I think you can. Um... Probably not, but he's probably going to be a race that once you beat him, you can race him any time. <laughs> I know for a fact that those cups, once you beat them all, you can race those at any time as well. <sighs> Good lord. <laughs> so... Unfortunately for you, you basically, uh, <laughs> you basically gonna have to talk to Pocket Circuit Fighter to challenge him as opposed to, like, getting into a race already. Meanwhile, I ran into Mr. Libido, who, by the way, is now at 60% because I found a good number of cards. Here is the thing about Mr. Libido. You are not going to be able to max out Mr. Libido until after Chapter 10. That's where most of the remaining cards will be. So, yeah. That's basically how it goes. And the same thing goes for Majima. You're not going to be able to max out his Mr. Libido until Chapter 10 as well. Probably Chapter 11. So, I wouldn't worry too much about Mr. Libido. He's still a character... God damn it! completion point, not character, completion point. But at the exact same time, he basically is going to tell you about all the... Oh, God damn it! stop cutting in, you stupid spam. Anyway, I will see you all in the next episode of Yakuza 0, where we complete the Royal Estate Royale and get the Media King and the man behind it. See you guys next time.